Happy Halloween, folks. Yep. This is the beastly one. Yeah, I went on this crazy diet, didn't I? Yeah, I know, I know. Kind of changes your look. Just a little bit. But it's okay. I'm still the same old beastly one. <laughs> this is a Necro Black vlog. Stay tuned. Hey folks, this is Gregory Necro Black, and this is a Necro Black vlog, and this is number 34. Why is it number 34? Because of the fact that, well, number 33 was number was originally number 31. I'm pretty sure if you guys saw 33, you saw the intro. But number 33 was really the original number 31 before I recorded that 31 and uploaded it. Ah, what a grand time of year. It's my favorite time of year. What time is it? Well, it sure as hell ain't the summer. <laughs> I can't stand the summer for if some of you guys already know. Oh, as some of you guys already know. I can't stand the summer. It's too hot. And I'm fat. Hot and fat do not go together. So, heavy sweats. High blood pressure. Never works. However, it is a great time of year. Isn't that right, buddy? Yep. It's October. It's Libra season. And my birthday just passed like a little while ago. So, needless to say, I'm happy. My favorite season of the year. The other season, holiday, the other holiday that I, that I love celebrating other than, you know, Thanksgiving and Christmas, and kind of New Year's. It's Halloween. Why? Because it's the only time of year that I can actually go out dressed as however the hell I feel like being dressed as. And I don't get judged. And I'm going to go, and every year I go is the scariest thing I can possibly think of. Me. Why am I scary? Because to skinny people, I'm the exact thing they don't ever want to be. Obese. They think I'm unhealthy, they think I'm out of shape, they think I'm fat, ugly, eh, you know, out of shape is, uh, is, is more or less my fault because I haven't been training the way I should be training. Yeah, but that's on me. But even then, I was still overweight in training, so I was still in pretty good shape. And for other people, they, they're, I'm their other nightmare. I'm short. Obviously, I'm, I'm not a six-footer. So, that kind of goes with the territory right there. But, you know, amongst other things, Halloween is one time where you get to go out and be whatever you wish you could be. Whether you want to be a comic book superhero or a movie bad guy or or you know you want to you want to dress up as something like uh, like a like like say you, you like twinkies and you feel like dressing up like a twinkie or in Arizona which i'm using an Arizona bottle right now and it has water in it ice cold water Free plug. Free plug. <sighs> I could go as an Obama phone. <laughs> an Obama phone. Yeah, that was really a remote. Uh, <laughs> or I can go as one of these guys. My homeboy Jack over here. Right here. Right here. Yeah. See? And you can see my 
my thumb. I know, piss poor lighting. I'm sorry. But, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people are against Halloween. Like, there are some hardcore Christians that are against Halloween because they say it promotes devil worshipping and all this other stuff. And, and there's other people that are against Halloween because they're like, oh, this is something that the corporations came up with because, you know, the for, to get people to buy more candy and do all this. Listen, 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 listen. Let, let's, let's get off of that whole BS right there, okay? Okay, so maybe the... the, the, the the candy companies and stuff like that might have made Halloween such a big holiday so they could sell their 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 products and stuff. All right, I can see that. It's 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 very possible. I mean, look at the opportunity. Kids walking around in costumes, going door to door to to ask for candy for treats, saying trick or treat. I mean, is it really wrong? Is it? Not really. You know, I don't like this lighting. Give me a second. I'm going to fix this right now. All right. Whoa. Let's see if I can fix this real quick. I don't know how much that helped. Oh, it actually did help. Not much. <laughs> but it kind of helped enough. Yeah, it kind of helped enough. Anywho, I could see why everybody would be complaining about, oh, well, it promotes unhealthy behavior. It promotes, you know, it, it promotes bad hygiene because it's getting kids to go and get candy. And, and it's giving them, and it promotes devil worshiping because it gets these kids to dress up in costumes, all kinds of spooky costumes. Well, understand, it, it, it's not a devil-worshipping holiday. I mean, it, it kind of is, because you even have devil-worshippers that do a lot of, you know, tributes and stuff like that on, the, on this particular holiday, which kind of ruins things for people. But, it's really a pagan holiday, you know? I, I mean, it, it's... it's it's worshiping the it's worshiping the spirits of the dead, or not even really worshiping, it's showing respect towards the dead, you know. So I'm all for Halloween festivities because you know it's, it's it's another time for people to get together and celebrate and chill and have fun and bug out. Like you know, you could do a million and one things on Halloween. Like for for instance, you could go and and do like my brother Gory, who's who's been a guest on this vlog before. Shout out to Gorioso, by the way. Um, and have movie marathons, horror movie marathons. You know, gather a few friends, get like snacks and stuff like that. You can even order out food and then just get a whole crap load of DVDs, a DVD player, a television set, good seating in your own home, and you have access to a bathroom and a kitchen. You're set. You don't got to go nowhere. You don't really got to spend money like that unless you're buying food. You're good. You're really good. You know? Another thing... Another thing you can do is you can go out to a party. Go out to a costume party or even to a friend's costume party. If you're going to a, to a costume party at a friend's house, you don't have to pay for crap. They might ask you to bring, like, maybe a soda or some beers or maybe even some chips... But you know what? At the same time, it's a safe environment. You know pretty much everyone that's there. You might not know a few people that are there because they're friends of friends. But you know the host and you know the people that you came with. And it's not like you really got to worry about anything going going on, going crazy. I mean, yeah, there's some things that could happen. Well, yeah, there's some things that could happen. Hold on. Messenger. <laughs> My brother David, Vargi, he, uh, he's talking about Papa John's six cheese pizza. He's become a health nut, but, you know, you have your cheat days. 
and he, he that was one of the things that he you know hold on here I am checking my Facebook on my blog uh, I'll check it later anywho getting back to what I was saying I'm sorry for the interruption but you know, if you go over to a friend's house, the most they're probably going to ask you to bring is like maybe chips or soda or maybe even a couple of beers, you know? And then it's a, it's a get together. It could be with a group, of, a small group of friends, or it could be with a group of friends that, you know, people that you've never met that your friend, that the host who would be your friend has brought, you know, or friends of friends of the host. And, you know, it's an interesting situation. It's nothing crazy. It's nothing too weird. It's nothing too you know, drastic or anything like that. And on the flip side, you could also go to a costume party over at a club or at a bar or something. You know, those things are always fun. They have good music. They Sometimes they'll have good drink specials. They'll have games. You know, it's fun stuff. Of course, you when you're in a club setting, you got to be a little more careful than, you know, you would at a house party thing. I mean, still got to look out if you're in a house party situation. But it's a little less you know, required when you're at a house party Halloween party as opposed to, you know, a club or a bar or something like that. You know. And then, you know, you could also do something for the kids. You know, they could have a little party. You could take them out trick-or-treating and then after trick-or-treating, bring, bring them back to the house and you could have like, you know, cake and, and juice or soda and, you know, or if you're one of those healthy people, you can actually make yourself a healthy cake, which it's not really cake, but it still tastes good. It's whipped cream, you know, whipped a little bit more, so that's actually more like, you know, more like frosting, over chopped watermelon, and if, you, if you're lucky enough to get seedless watermelon, dopeness. And, and you can make a veg, you can make a, a, a not a vegetarian cake, but a healthy cake, and you can ha you can lay out like fruits and veg, you know, not vegetables necessarily. Well, you might you might have some vegetables there, like you know, carrots and dipping sauce and stuff like that. And uh, you know, you can do whatever you want on this holiday. You can make it whatever you wish to make it. You don't have to listen to all these like crazy people that are saying. Oh, it's this, it's that, it's the corporations. Oh, it's devil worshiping. Oh, it's this, it's that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get a life. Get a life. Please. You know, Halloween is supposed to be a fun time. It's supposed to be a time in which, you know, kids get to go out, dress up in costumes, and, and get their treats. They can get their caramel apples. They can get their, their you know, their... their the little candy, the little bite-sized candies. They can get all kinds of stuff like that. And, you know, generally have fun in a safe environment. You know? I mean, in my area, they're going to have a really safe... Uh, they, they have the safe streets thing for Halloween, specifically for Halloween. I mean, they have it normally, but they have this safe streets thing specifically for Halloween for about... for in a window of about three to four, maybe five hours, where the kids can go around the neighborhoods of different stores and the police are out to make sure nothing's going, nothing wrong is going on, and nothing crazy is going on, and, you know, you got the kids, can, they can go to any store they want, get candy, get, get treats or whatever, and they can generally have fun in a safe manner, you know, because... One thing that kind of does bug me out is that there's a lot of crazy stuff that does happen on Halloween, but that's because you got a lot of knuckleheads and hoodlums and stuff like that that want to go and do stuff like that and ruin the holiday for everyone else, much like the people that say, oh, it's a devil worship right, right, thing, or, or, or the people that are like, oh, I don't want to do that because of corporations. No, no, no. Screw that crap. I say this. Go out there. Enjoy yourself. Take yourself a little, one of these little, you know, pumpkin containers, little pumpkin buckets. Get yourself a, a crap load of candy or, or fruits or whatever. Come home, 
sit down, put on the TV, watch yourself maybe the Charlie Brown Halloween special or something like that. Or even the Toy Story Halloween special. Yes, I made plugs to those two because I'm going to be sitting my, my behind home and watching those myself. I'm a big I'm a big kid. Don't don't let the mustache fool you. I'm a big kid. That sounds so wrong. I'm so sorry. No, I'm not. <laughs> but come on, man. You should be able to enjoy yourself on these holidays. And and right after this is the fattest holiday of all, next to you know Mardi Gras, which is Thanksgiving. That's where we give thanks to everything that we have and everything that we, we still have with the people that we still have with us, the things that we still, have, you know, the roofs over our heads, the clothes, the clothing on our backs, the money in our pockets, our health. You know, this this is just debauchery, but it's fun debauchery, and it can be safe debauchery. You know, but that. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave you off with this because, well, to be honest, I, I, I freaking love Halloween. I can't even lie about it. I, I do. Um, another free plug for Arizona, even though there is, there is no Arizona in this thing. There's ice cold water. leave you off with this thing you guys need to be able to enjoy yourselves have fun be free live free and if you and, 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 and you know be yourselves make your own decisions don't let people tell you what you can and cannot do don't let people, because their own personal beliefs, stop you from having your fun. Because at the end of the day, if you let other people dictate to you how you how you can have your fun or how you can't have your fun, you're never going to be happy. And that, that's fact. Me? I'm going to sit here, Halloween is going to totally be a cheat day because I'm totally stuffing my face with candy if I can get my hands on it. <laughs> no, I'm not going to be the fat kid and dress up like a big fat kid and go trick-or-treating. I know people that do that, that's just sad. <laughs> but I am going to sit here and enjoy myself and probably, you know, get a bag of candy and sit here and if my girl is, is here with me she'll sit here with me and share some candy don't worry I'm scratching myself on my leg I'm not scratching my you know balls don't worry <laughs> um, but yeah I'm, I'm going to I'm going to basically enjoy myself and I'm gonna sit here uh, on the couch and turn on the TV and maybe if my niece is allowed to stay up a little bit late watch the Halloween specials with my niece on the TV, and then, you know, send her a little behind to bed because she got school in the morning. And, oh no, wait a minute. Halloween's on a Friday. No, I'm going to sit here and watch these Halloween specials with her. And then when she goes to bed, I'm going to sit here and watch some Halloween movies on some of the other channels on TV, or probably even pop in the DVD, or might even go out and go to a friend's party or something. I don't know. But you know what? I am free to choose whatever I'm going to choose, whatever I'm going to do, just like each and every one of you guys are. So, with that being said, I'm going to I'm going to say, go out there, have fun, but be safe and be mindful, and always keep an eye out for everything that goes on around you, because you never know what you're gonna what you're gonna see, and you never know what you're gonna come across. And to be honest. It might not necessarily be you who's behind you saved by keeping an eye out and keeping your ears open and keeping your mind ready. So, enjoy. Happy Halloween. 
And uh, hopefully you guys will be seeing me in November. What am I saying, hopefully? You guys are going to see me in November. Probably going to see me having a vlog. Probably like last year, you're going to see a, a, a post-Thanksgiving vlog. Unless there's a Thanksgiving vlog. Vlog. And I'm actually eating turkey. In front of the camera. Which I'm going to try to do. But my family probably won't allow it at the table. <laughs> Yeah, whatever. Anywho, like I said, enjoy yourselves, stay safe, keep your eyes and ears open, and always make sure that to keep a lookout not just for yourself and for your friends, but also for your fellow trick-or-treaters and fellow Halloween goers, and just enjoy the holiday. So I know what I'm gonna I know I'm gonna do that. Hopefully you guys enjoy it too. Anyway, it's been real, it's been fun. It's been another Necro Black vlog. And this right here is the F6 Party Animal. The Beastly One. I'm saying it backwards. This is the Beastly One, the F66 Party Animal, and VF's favorite luchador. Still, to this day, even though I think I'm being beaten out by guys in the WWE, which wouldn't be too surprising because they're in the WWE. And I'm out. Peace. Hopefully there'll be peace in the Middle East. By the time this next vlog comes up. <laughs> hey folks. This is Necro Black. And uh, as weird as it sounds, I'm actually uh, here talking about uh, me and the party thing. So I know I said I'm not going to really be doing that many parties and stuff, which I've maintained that kind of. I decided to come out today, come out tonight to the to the Eva party because a lot of people were expecting to see me over at E2, but I didn't make it. So come back to the party that I started off with, Ether. DJ Jinko is on the one and twos right now. He'll be followed by Selector Russ. DJ Selector Russ. There's a flashlight still over there? Over here? There was one sitting right on that fucking thing you're at. No. Well, as you can see, we're looking to add more stuff like black lights, which there was one here, apparently. There's a hard hat. I don't know why there's a hard hat here, but there's a hard hat. Anywho, this is a uh, more or less me doing this once in a while. I know I'm not going to be doing this all the time because, you know, work schedule, life, responsibility. But it's good to get out once in a while and have a little bit of fun. Enjoy myself. Who says I can't enjoy myself and choose where and when I want to enjoy myself? So, I'm here. And, uh, yes, this is part of a Necro Black vlog. But, uh, this is not going to be a full recording. I'm not going to stand here for a full half hour. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to get back to the party, folks. Enjoy yourselves. Have a nice night. Adios.